praise the lord brothers and sisters it's let us come before god right now to worship his name to give the glory that is due to his name let us begin by signing ourselves in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen, amen. our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O oh, glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was in the beginning, is now and, and ever shall, shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. Let us begin by reading a gospel passage from the Gospel of John, chapter eight, verses thirty-four to thirty-six. Jesus so beautifully says here Jesus answered them Truly I say to you whoever commits sin is a slave of sin but the slave does not stay in the house forever the son the son stays forever so if the son makes you free you will be really free as i was just meditating on this passage the lord brought to my mind this lockdown situation where we are all locked down in our houses where we don't have freedom to move outside the way we want to we have to adhere to certain policies of the government and we have to adhere to certain rules and guidelines for the greater good of the people it's the lord was showing me that how much how much we took for granted the freedom that we already had the freedom to move around the freedom to choose what we want to the freedom to do what we want but many a times we abuse that freedom in the name of freedom we made ourselves slaves by doing things that are not pleasing to god at all by always rebelling against his ways his plans all just let us just look into our lives before we look at the society how many times we have rebelled against god and in the name of freedom made ourselves slaves so right now brothers and sisters i would encourage you to be free for Jesus has set you free for the son has set you free and you are free indeed we pray for freedom from peer pressure we pray for freedom from societal pressure as we are in the presence of god let us let us be totally free let us not be hard pressed or bound by rules or regulations to worship god let us worship god in freedom where the spirit of god is there is freedom freedom from guilt and shame jesus has set us free by dying for us on the cross and rising again and giving us new life therefore there is no condemnation we are made new in christ let us believe this let us believe that we are free from guilt and shame freedom from speaking ill not about others but even of ourselves telling that we are not worthy for god has made us worthy freedom from habitual sins and curses they no longer have a hold on you so don't believe brothers and sisters if anybody tells you that you cannot be set free from this 
or this is your curse. For Jesus has set you free. And to this freedom, St. Paul even testifies saying in 2 Corinthians chapter 12 verses 8 to 10. St. Paul says, says three times I prayed to the Lord that it might leave me but he answered me my grace is enough for you for my power is manifested fully in weakness I will rather boast of my weakness most gladly that the power of Christ may abide in me so I rejoice when I suffer infirmities insults affliction want persecutions and distress all for the sake of Christ for when I am weak then I am strong Amen So here St. Paul so beautifully tells us that the grace of God is enough for us and how, how bold how much of love we would be experiencing from Jesus that he, he confidently says I boast in my weaknesses many a times when we approach God we try to pretend something that we are not. We try to pretend that we are holy. We try to pretend by using big biblical prayers. But Lord, we want to say today, Lord, we want to come as we are, acknowledging all our failures, all our sins, boasting in your grace and not in our perfection, O oh God.
mercy. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We declare, Lord Jesus, your grace is sufficient for us, O oh God. Your power is made perfect in our weakness, O oh God. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Jesus. We magnify you, Lord Jesus. Praise you, Jesus.
illness or we have sickness. Those of you suffering from addictions, declare God's greatness over your habitual sins. Our God is greater, our God is stronger, God you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, our servant Let the nations 
and sing it louder Cause nothing has the power to say But your name Let's take this time Brothers and sisters, take this time To meditate on the name of Jesus Jesus Name above all Forgotten the words of encouragement which God speaks to you as sons. My son, pay attention when the Lord corrects you, and do not be discouraged when he punishes you, for the Lord corrects those he loves, and chastises everyone he accepts as son. You must endure your trials as discipline. God is treating you as sons. 
for what son is not corrected by his father if you are not corrected as all his sons are then you are not true sons but illegitimate ones besides this when our earthly fathers correct us we respect them how much more should we be subject to the father of our spirits to have life our earthly fathers corrected us for a short while as they saw fit indeed no correction is pleasant at the time but painful yet later it brings to those who have been trained by it the peaceful reward of an upright life lift up then your drooping hands and strengthen your trembling knees and make your crooked path straight so that the lame foot may not be disabled but instead be healed Amen. 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 My bro- my dear brothers and sisters, how beautiful that God is speaking to us through St. Paul saying he corrects he corrects us, he disciplines us as a father disciplines his child. When we are going through hardships, when we feel we are being pressed down, crushed, be assured that Jesus is going to bring out new wine. from you for unless a wheat a grain of wheat falls to the earth and breaks itself it cannot bear fruit and jesus said abide in me so that you will bear fruit for those who do not bear fruit he cuts off but those who do bear fruit he prunes he prunes means he he chastises you he corrects you he makes he brings out more fruit in you once you are pruned so let us accept the suffering which god has given us as we sing the song let us surrender let us ask the lord to make us his instrument to make us his vessel so that he can bring forth new wine out of us Jesus said It is not good to pour new wine in old wine skins but new wine has to be poured in new wine skins For if anyone is in Christ he is a new creation the old has passed and the new has come Therefore my dear brothers and sisters I encourage you to be open to the pruning of god to the discipline of god and surrender your your lives totally to jesus no matter what comes your way never never let go of the hand of god for he has not given up on you in the crushing in the pressing You are making new wine in the soil. I now surrender. You are making new ground in the crushing, in the crushing, in the pressing, in the pressing. You are making. in the soil i now surrender you are breaking the ground so i yield to you Surrender Lord Jesus as we 
missing So we yield to you So we yield to you And to your perfectness When I trust you I don't need to understand Make me a vessel Make me an offering Make me whatever You want me to be I came here with nothing But all you have given me Jesus bring Jesus, bring new wine out of me. Yeah. Jesus, bring new wine out of me. Yes, Lord, make us your instrument, make us your vessel, O oh God. Have your way in us, Lord Jesus. We surrender to your plans. We know they are plans for our good, to give us a hope and a future, Plan, plans for our prosperity, O oh God. Though our situations may seem otherwise, may be forcing us to think that you, that there is a God, who's, that there is no God, maybe our situations are forcing us to think that God is cruel. But my dear brothers and sisters, our God is a good God. His very nature is love. The only thing that God cannot do is not love. He cannot stop loving you. He has called you according to His purpose, fashioned you in His own image and likeness to give you a purpose, to give you a future more than conquerors through His Son, Jesus Christ. So I encourage you now to make a prayer of surrender as we sing. Make me a vessel Make me an offering Make me whatever You want me to be I came Jesus, bring new wine out of me. Yeah. Jesus, bring new wine out of me. Yes, Jesus. Lord, to walk this journey of life, to surrender to your plans, we cannot do it on our own strength, O oh God. But your spirit gives us strength. Yes, Lord. We ask for the anointing of your Holy Spirit to lead us, to guide us into all truth. To make the right decision at the right time. To give us wisdom at the right time. To give us comfort, your word of comfort at the right time. Spirit of God, we invoke your presence right now. Yes, Lord. Jesus, praise you, Jesus. Holy Spirit of God, we glorify you. We praise you. Holy Trinity, one God, we worship you. Yes, the Spirit of God is moving in this place. I encourage you, brothers and sisters, to open your heart right now and receive the anointing of the Holy Spirit right now. The Spirit is moving among us. Yes, yes Lord Jesus, yes Lord, yes Lord. Praise you Holy Spirit, praise you Holy Spirit. Worship.
is working in our lives right now. Let us remember that when we worship God, it is never about us. It is never about what we are feeling. It is about what we are offering to God. We offer this time of worship, oh God. This time that we have sacrificed, Lord, we offer it to you, Lord Jesus, for the praise and glory of this, of your name. We offer ourselves as a living sacrifice, Lord Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Glorify you, Jesus.